This is a nice looking infographic that I just created using Gemini AI. Well, I guess I have to put the word infographic in a quotation mark because technically this is not an infographic. This is actually just a nice looking web that was made with a bunch of codes. But since it looks pretty, you can pass it as an infographic. But still, this is a website. So you cannot get this as a PNG or JPEG picture. This is not meant to be saved as a picture, which is going to be a problem, especially if you want to share this content to social media like TikTok or Instagram. Well, you can share the link, but you cannot share it as a visual content. You can only share the link and people need to open a browser to see what you just created that with Gemini and you, you might be thinking how about using a feature like scrolling screenshot I think there are so many Chrome extensions that can do that well unfortunately I have tried a dozen more than a dozen Chrome extensions that able or claim to be able to do that but I guess there is something with the structure of the website of the Gemini infographic that makes it to be impossible to be uh, screenshotted by a lot of Chrome extensions now, also, if you try to use, let's say, the mobile version of Gemini, and then you try to open the infographic in a Chrome browser, which comes with a feature for taking a long screenshot, unfortunately, that also wouldn't work. I have tried this and it just consistently never giving me the full screenshot. So you can click this and then click share and then click long screenshot, but all you will get is just this first half of the website, just basically the first section, the first area that you will see when you see the website. And that's about it. You cannot uh, scroll down any further than that. And while some phones come with their own long screenshot feature and is able to do that, but for most phones, this is not an option. So then how do you get this document or this infographic as a picture? Well. I have found a simple and faster way to get this website HTML file as a PNG file uh, using only your PC. And here's how you can do that. So first, let me just go back to Gemini. Let's close this, go to code. And then you need to copy all of the code that was created by Gemini. I'm going to click here and then let's select all of it. You can press Ctrl A on the keyboard and then you can press Ctrl C or Command C on the keyboard. Or you can also just right click and then click copy. It, it doesn't matter, still the same thing. It's for copying the content. Now, let's open a file explorer on your computer. I'm using Windows, so it's going to look like this. Let me just right click, click new and go to text document. Let's call this one index, hit enter. And then you can double click to open the document. And then you can right click anywhere right here and then select paste, go to file, click save, and then you can close text document, close this notepad. Now go to view, enable file name extensions. And then you want to right click on index.txt click rename and then replace txt with html and then you can hit enter and then you can click yes and there you go so we just created an html file that could be rendered on the browser and then you can basically start taking a long screenshot for this website or this infographic let me just open this on chrome and there you go so this is now the infographic but it is not in gemini anymore it is on my computer so you can start using a chrome extension like full page screenshot i think sorry it's called full page screen capture and this is a very popular chrome extension for taking a long screenshot and i will, I will leave the link in the video description in case you want to use it and then you can click add to chrome and click add extension and by the way the html version the index dot HTML version could be created and open even on your Android phone. Yeah, it, it does able to do that. So you can, you know, kind of follow this guide, assuming that, but let's pretend that I'm using an Android phone because the process is kind of more or less the same. Anyway, let's continue. I'm going to close this and let's go back to the infographic file. Let's refresh the page. And then I'm going to click this, click pin on Google full page. And then I'm going to click this 
click extension settings because this is basically a local file so it needs more permission just click this button extension settings and let's enable allow access to file urls now let's go back to the infographic or website again let's refresh the page and you can start taking screenshot of this page the entire page but i usually will make the window a bit smaller like maybe this size because that's usually the size of the dimension of popular image infographic out there so that's just my preferences but feel free to use any dimension now let's click this icon and just wait for the extension go full page to take a full screenshot of the infographic that you just created and there you go so you can zoom in i think it looks pretty and now if you want to download this you can click this download button and then click allow and there you go you just downloaded the infographic from the gemini chat which look like this and it was in the html format and now you just got it in the image.png format and there you go it's pretty simple right so that's how you can do it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on my next video